Greetings fellow 50p collectors, so after tonight's entree video with the BBC 50p and the Elf on a Shelf 50p we're on to a very serious coin now, so this is the latest addition to the 50p collection this arrived today, so I have great pleasure in showing you the 2020-2022 Royal Mint snowman 50p so let's have a look at this 50p so it comes in standard form non-color and there is also a color version and this year rather than having the snowman and the little boy they have the snowman and the snow dog it comes in rather nice packaging and if we have a little look at the coin there's the design on the coin this year you got the snowman holding the dog so a really nice design and if we flick it over this one I think comes with a white envelope so you can send it to your nearest and dearest if you want to <clears throat> if you want to waste a tenner I'll not be doing that this will be going on to the brilliant uncirculated line of 50 P's up in the shelf continuing that great tradition of collecting every single brilliant uncirculated 50p we've got all the other christmas 50ps so have to make sure to get this one and of course this will be the last christmas 50p that has the portrait of her late majesty queen elizabeth ii on it so a really nice design the only thing i would say is they're starting to get a bit monotonous now every year it's a snowman coin is this the fourth or fifth year now of the snowman coin at christmas and even more disappointing this year they're not doing a strike your own snowman coin it's harry pothead strike your own coins i think they're going to be doing four of them there's going to be a whole series of them so the uh the royal mint will be knocking out the harry potter strike your owns for quite a few months to come i'll have to get in the car hop up there and get the latest strike your own 50 p's when they're when they're released so there we go that is the snowman and the snow dog now i mentioned that there's a color version as well so of course the collection wouldn't be complete without the color version straight away this one seems to come in a more standard packaging what we'd normally be used to and of course i think with these coins the color ones always do look better than the the non-color ones so there we go you can see the snow dog and the snowman and these uh colored coins are normally a limited edition as well normally 15 or twenty thousand of these are released each year on the back of it a little bit of information there about the snowman and the snow dog and there we have the specs of the coin of course, obverse designer Jody Clark and the reverse designer Robin Shaw. Brilliant uncirculated. So there we go. Happy days. That is the colour version of the Snowman 50p. Now, of course, Christmas wouldn't be complete in the Coin Snatcher household if we didn't get one of these boxes. And for all you collectors out there, you'll know that when you get one of these boxes, there's a very special treat inside. So if we open this up, let's have a look. And what we have here is, of course, carrying on the theme of every year. And I keep saying I'm going to stop buying silver proof 50p's, but I don't. There we go. So this is the snowman and the snow dog silver proof 50p. There's a little bit of information on the back just a bit more information at the bottom so let's pop this open and have a look at it and normally each year they do a really nice box and there we go if we just get this in the light properly you can see it's got the the little sparkly type snowflakes on it looks really nice nice feeling quality to these boxes as well and if we pop it open there it is in all its glory the snowman 50p so let's have a little zoom in on this so look at that that's a really nice coin let's just turn it around a bit it's off center there we go so there we go that is the silver proof 2022 royal mint snowman and the snow dog 50p 
really cool and of course you've got a bit of color print in there on the perspex box as well just to set it off this one looks quite bright and cheery this year with the the fairy lights and what have you and then on the back one of the last silver proof coins to carry the portrait of her late majesty queen elizabeth ii and a fantastic looking portrait it is as well so there we go now what makes this coin interesting in comparison to previous years of the snowman 50p is that they have really reduced the issue limit on these coins so in previous years the issue limit has been 15,000 or so and this year they've reduced the issue limit down to a measly 5,000 so they're obviously not selling enough of them or they want to make it more difficult for us collectors to get our hands on them but hopefully with a lower mintage the coins will hold their value well and the snowman coins generally do hold their value well uh, especially at this time of year if people are looking to make up the whole set then this is the time to be to be selling snowman 50 piece uh, lots of people interested in them really nice coin as well as i said earlier though it is starting to get a little bit monotonous now uh, <clears throat> what i think they should do is have a coin from the 1980s shows that i used to watch like the a team the fall guy dukes of hazard you know those sort of coins that would be quite cool maybe they're not christmas coins but i'd enjoy them anyway i digress there's a little bit more information about the original makers as the royal mint calls them and one final bit just from the designer of the the 50p robin show i think it's probably quite i say an easy job because all you have to do is get one of the snowman books and basically just copy a design from the snowman book Although I bet mine would nothing look nothing like that. It'd probably look a bit more anorexic and probably look really crap. So the final thing to have a look at with this is the little certificate of authenticity that comes with it. And there we go. So we've got number 2947. So I think I was probably one of the first people to order these. But being one of the first doesn't mean that you're going to get one of the one of the earlier certificate numbers so that's quite a high number which is a little tad disappointing but it doesn't really matter and there we go we can see 5000 is the limited edition presentation 5010 maximum coin mintage so probably the extra 10 will go off to trial of the picks but uh, there'll be no more of these coins in any other presentations like they've done on previous years and then just a uh, a little bit more there there we go there's trial of the picks there so that's it for this update the christmas coins i'll tell you what it's only what 7th or 8th of november something like that and we've got the christmas coin already so uh seven or eight weeks ahead of time but we're not complaining always nice to get the snowman christmas 50p from the royal mint although genuinely i do hope next year they will do something different you know there's only so long you can drag the arse out of something for me the snowman has started to melt anyway that's it for now folks peace and love coin snatcher out